Howdy folks. I'm going to talk social media for a moment. I know I've done some videos on this before, but I want to do this one because I learned an interesting statistic recently from a good friend of mine where he said that on our phones, our devices, we scroll this way or that way, whichever way you've set up your device to go. We scroll through per day about 300 linear feet of material. Holy smoke, what a complete waste of time. But that struck me, if I do that and if you do that, if we do that collectively, and frankly I don't think I do, hopefully I don't, um, then we're, we're being bombarded with a whole bunch of information, which begs the question, if there's all sorts of information out there, how do we help people form the right conclusions, get to the right place, more particularly do so using social media? And here's my observations. You don't use social media to sell. You use social media to invite to participate. For example, I'm taking base and fuel. And so my invitation on social media is, hey, I'm doing something about finally losing those few pounds. Um, I need you guys to help me be uh, diligent in that regard. If you see me eating something I shouldn't, you know, pull my coat, let me know, tell me uh, I should uh, buck up just a little bit. Most people love to engage on that basis. What doesn't work is, hey, whole known universe, all friends and family on Facebook, I've joined a new project, a new deal, and I need you to do this for me so that I can make a free trip to Hawaii or become Starfleet Commander. Instantly, you've burned through your entire friend profile on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and they've formed a conclusion which is no. But invite to watch over me, invite to participate in what I'm doing with no great burden on you, not asking you to do something for me, but asking you to do something or assist me with something is a wholly different proposition. So do it in a way that arrests people's attention. Somewhere in that 300 linear feet of scrolling, they come across an invitation to act that is easy and simple and straightforward and relationship sustaining and not transactional and you'll have much more success with your social media. And then use your other tools, your private messaging and your emails and texts and whatever else to do your follow-ups and ask and answer questions. What happens when you invite people to assist you in doing what you're doing? In my case, I'm gonna lose those few extra pounds in time for the holidays because I know I'll put them back on again, but then I've already proven to myself I can take them off, so I've already got my post-holiday plan in place that I know works because I've already done it. Instantly, they're asking me questions. How are you doing? And I live updates. Says, hey, I'm 25 pounds down over the course of the last nine months. Oh, wow. That's interesting data. Unambiguous. Here's my, my scale scissors. Here's my NSVs. And I put that out there as just an invitation or an update based on the previous invitation. That's where social media can work for you. And then you follow up in a more private forum on the questions and the queries that come your way. 300 feet, unbelievable amount of wasted time, if I may. Apple or Samsung need to have, or Android need to have an app that shows how many linear feet you've scrolled through on your social media, like they have screen times. Uh, be mindful of that. You can, it's a, it's a time suck that can easily take all of your available productive time and create it into a significantly unproductive use of time. Have a great day.